So in the last example, or the last two examples, it was pretty obvious to determine which variable you're going to plug in, or which expression you're going to plug into the other equation, because we had one of the equations that was solved, right? It was, by, it was um, isolated. So um, when we have an equations and we're looking into solving using the substitution method, uh, what I prefer to use substitution for is whenever I have a variable, any variable, doesn't matter what the variable is, that has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. And again, I think it's kind of happened that we've used y all this time, but it could be x in the same thing. We could have x solved, and then you'd use x. So basically, I look at my whole system here, and I say, do any of these variables have a coefficient of 1 or negative 1? Any of these? Yeah, it's this y that's right up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do a little bit of work before this. Since it has a coefficient of negative 1, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to isolate the y on my own, by myself. So a couple different ways you can do that. Um, but let's just subtract the 2x. Therefore, I have negative y equals negative 2x plus 3. So everybody follow me? I'm just doing like some solving equations, right? Then I divide by negative 1, and I have y equals positive 2x minus 3. So what I did was, and the reason, and you could solve for any variable you want to. Um, however, I always like choosing variables that have a coefficient of 1 or negative 1 because it's fairly easy um, arithmetic compared to solving equations like 5 over with the have 5 as a coefficient. It's going to be a little bit more work, um, but you could easily do it. So now I have two equations. So now let's go and rewrite my top equation as y equals 2x minus 3, and my next equation as 5x minus 2y equals 10. So now, by rewriting that, I'm kind of saying, oh, well, here's what my problem is going to look like in the format that we're familiar with. Does everybody see that? Yeah? Any question on that? So now it's a little bit more obvious. What am I going to plug into the other equation? I'm going to take the value of y, which is 2x minus 3, and plug that in for y. So therefore, I have 5x minus 2 times 2x minus 3, which equals 10. And now I'm just going to apply distributive property. And I have 5x minus 4x plus 6 equals 10. Combine like terms x plus 6 equals 10, subtract 6, subtract 6, x equals 4. So now that I know that x is equal to 4, to find the value of y, I'm just going to take x and plug it in, or the value of x and plug it in for the variable. 2 times 4 is going to be 8, minus 3 is 5. So your coordinate point where the two lines intersect are 4, 5. Anybody have any questions? Yes? We're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing that uh, next class period.